Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to prepare a lovely Ghanaian drink called Mweda. I hope I said it right. Mweda is mostly prepared by Gans on special occasion. Mweda is also a traditional drink made from corn sprouts. Shout outs to Mama Angeline and Evelyn for teaching me how to make this drink and making this video possible. Now let's get started. In a bowl, I have my washed white maize, also known as corn kernel. Add water, cover it and leave it for two days. The process of making weather is very long, but it's so worth it when you're done making it. It's day two, take the maize out of the water, put it in a colander, or you can put it in any bowl. Then cover it with a piece of cloth to start the germination process. Mweda can be literally translated to nut wine. However, among the Gans, it is a local drink made from maize green leafy sprout. Mweda has become a bit more popular as part of the local drinks served during occasions, examples, weddings, naming ceremonies, birthday parties, etc, etc. Sprinkle a little bit of water on the maize morning and evening because water is required for germination. I can see some tiny roots showing. It is day three of the germination process and the maize has sprouted nicely and beautifully. So with Mada, the maize need to sprout to a green leafy shoot and in order to get this, I will spread the sprouted maize on a piece of cloth. Spreading it out helps it to sprout quicker into the green leafy that we want. And then cover it with another piece of cloth. Sprinkle a little bit of water on top. Be sure not to sprinkle a lot of water on the sprouted maize as this can cause it to become moldy and start to rot. So just sprinkle a little bit of water, okay? It's the next day and as you can see, the root of the maize is starting to turn green. Again, sprinkle a bit of water on the maize. Make sure not to use a lot of water, just a little bit. At this point, I decided not to cover it with a piece of cloth to allow air to penetrate through because all seeds need water, oxygen and proper temperature in order to germinate. And voila, the next day I could see some green leafy sprouts. Well it is time to dry our sprouted leafy maize so in a tray just spread them all apart and leave it in the sun this is looking beautiful you can see the green leafy this is how you want your mother maize sprouted corn kernel to be okay so dry it completely beautiful it is time to grind be sure to use a good blender to grind the maize in order not to destroy your blender okay Oh, 
avoid grinding into a powdery form okay this is how it should look like this can be stored in a freezer when not in use It's time to prepare the caramelized sugar. So in a pot, add your sugar, put it on medium heat, and stir. The sugar will start to melt. The sugar will start to clump up and this is normal just continuously stir so it doesn't burn keep stirring until the sugar is completely dissolved so at this point you have to keep stirring it until you see it bubbling up then you add in some cold water to it It's time to add the water, but be very careful when you're adding the water as it splatters and it can burn you, okay? So add the water slowly and carefully and be sure to use a long ladle in order not to burn yourself, okay? We've made that. This is the color we want, a bit dark brown okay this is the color of the sugar of the caramelized sugar we want okay so give it a stir now we are going to prepare the corn water for the murder so in a pot add in your blended germinated maize and add some water i will leave the ingredient and the measurement in the description box Put it on fire on high heat add in some salt I will be cooking this drink for about two to three hours as it takes long to be ready but trust me this drink is so so refreshing when it's done if you would notice there is a drop in the water level we started with a pot full of water now there is a drop in the water level this shows that our murder our corn water is almost ready and we can start adding the caramelized syrup the whole cooking process takes about two to three hours and it actually depends on the quantity of the water that you use okay at this point my mother has been cooking for more than two hours 
and I am going to start adding the caramelized syrup. Pour a bit at a time and stir. Repeat this till you get the color. We want a dark brown color. Give it a stir in between as you're cooking. Like I said, keep adding the caramelized sugar syrup until you get the right umeda color. <laughs> Keep adding and keep staring as you go along. At this point, I will add in some sugar. The caramelized syrup is just to give it color. So with Mweda, you need to add sugar. I will leave all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box. And please be mindful of the amount of sugar to add. Make sure to add it to your taste. Looking at the color of the meda at this stage, it is not quite the color that we want, so I'm going to add in more syrup. To check for the color of the maida, I take some of the um, drink and then I put it in a bowl, let it cool down before I put it in a glass to check for the color. Okay. I drop it in a glass. So you drop it in a glass just to see the color, if it is the color that you want. I want it more darker than this. You need your meda to be more darker, so add more caramelized syrup. You know, and then I just scoop some of the drink into the bowl just to, you know, rinse it and then put it back in the pot. Now my caramelized sugar is finished. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to make do with what I have, okay? And yes, we seem to have the color now. The boiling process changes when the meda is ready. It basically stops boiling and starts simmering. At this point, you turn your cooker off. Cover the pot with a napkin or a piece of cloth. Get a string and then tie it, okay, and leave it overnight. Every day, African, yeah. For your food.
It's morning and we are going to review the weather. Oh, this is looking so good and refreshing. Strain it. The best way to drink weather is to bottle it and keep it on ice or in the fridge. Weather tastes so good when it's chilled. But if you have it warm, you can add ice cubes and drink it there and then. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, bye for now. Gentle ladies, welcome to Zach's kitchen.